ECN Trade Technical Webinar. Good morning. My name is Rob Clayton. Well, the Australian dollar overnight progressed further to the upside, however, now appears to be struggling. The reason behind this view is the fact that towards the 77 cent region, especially if we go to the dailies, you can see here that the market clearly rejects this region. And from what can be ascertained is the fact that any more or any further challenges towards this 77 region should again fail. And also to note is that the four hour is actually breaking down. On the day, I expect to see a range of 76.15.20 to 76.80 and a break beneath that level of 76.15 would give further threat towards the downside and look towards the next support coming in where these peaks are at 75.60.65. You can see here, peak here, peak here, and the rejection from there. So this is a valid point of support. And if we get a break, as I say, under 76.15, then we should see further weakness. The euro dollar overnight, well, strength come into the market when the European session opened, went through that resistance of 112.05.15.20. <clears throat> However, you can see here towards 112.60.80 level, the zone still appears to be very much offering supply. And you can see if I put this, <clears throat> you can see from here is that the fact that the market again <clears throat> rejects that level and now holds around 112 the figure. In light of the recent rejection, a break of 111.80 support would open way towards 111.20.40, <clears throat> and which was the recent lows around here. And from there, I still hold the view further towards 110.50 to 110.75. <clears throat> However, in light, if, if we see a return of any bullish momentum, I still feel the market will defend this region around 112.6080. Dollar yen, <clears throat> very whipsawed overnight. However, now struggling towards this resistance at 180 <clears throat> to 190. In light of the current pr price action, if we see a rejection from there, then this would actually turn the focus back towards 994060. And as I mentioned before, underneath 100 hasn't sustained there for more than a couple of hours. And again, will likely do so again if the fact that if the BOJ is actually under this level. No, com no uh, confirmation to that call of saying they are. However, it does look a little bit odd to see that the market doesn't sustain there very long. So under 100. Not a place to hold short positions, I feel. If we get a break above that uh, 190 level, then this would see a further move up towards 101.6570 and reassess from there. On well, the panned overnight, if we go to the four hourly chart, you can see that it went back to retest the resistance anywhere around 131.20 and still capping around 131.80. Now, I still feel that any advances up towards this region will fail. And as you can see here, we could draw a down channel here, which comes in very comfortly at the moment around the short term resistance to 131.20. In light of how this pattern is playing out, I feel that we should look for a further decline. And with 128.45.55 holding as a potential target and reassess from there. <clears throat> you can see if I shorten this pattern up but gold we had a rejection from 1352 down channel reach out, challenges at 1300 level rejects goes back to 1352 rejects buying comes back in front of that 1300 level and then rejection from there fuels the rally up and as you can see now struggling towards this top side around 1340 in light of the current <clears throat> price action and the hesitation overnight towards that level, I feel the market's now showing potential signs of turning around and we could see a downturn towards 13.22. And it is viewed a break there would actually see further exposure to the downside with 1300 still playing a vulnerable part in this whole price action. 
as a, a move underneath 1300 would see a $50 drop. Any fresh advances towards uh, 1346 to 52 again should find heavy supply and a rejection from there. And to wrap up with oil, <clears throat> resistance still seen firmly around 47.20. If you put it onto a daily, is the fact that the market is still appearing weak and also showing some hes it's hesitating towards this level. And as it's backing away now, I look towards the support holding at 45.20 and possibly lower down towards that $43 a barrel region. In light of this move, this short squeeze is we're coming to an end of its pattern and I'm looking for a downturn very, very soon, especially with a four hour turning and giving us a negative crossover now. Well, that concludes my intraday report for the, this morning. Thank you very much for listening. I hope your week's gone well and enjoy the weekend that's now coming ahead. Thank you again.